Hey yo. So I'm gonna call the guy Shiki Boo because I don't know. His Twitter handle is Purple Shiki Boo, and I think that's his name, but I'm not sure. Um, but I'm pretty sure he'd prefer me referring to him by half of his username instead of just um, Anime Fox Picture Man. And he has made the best um, guitar instrument I've ever seen. I haven't tried out his other ones, but he literally gives ample guitar a run for their money when he uses it. When normal people use it, it's really no different than any other um, guitar VST, which stinks, <laughs> but when he uses it, oh my goodness, he could give the paid ample guitars a run for their money. So anyway, <laughs> I started out by just doing this random chord in air quotes progression. <laughs> That doesn't make noise. Oh, it doesn't make noise because I'm in the wrong program. <laughs> okay. Now, it starts, I think, sus down. Sustain down. Now, the first thing we're going to do is actually transform this into chords. Where did... Here it went. So let's just turn these all into major chords. And then transpose negative 12. Yeah, probably a little lower too. And now this is what it sounds like. the first thing we want to do, and I will have my video on this in the description, so let's go to strum, and we'll turn randomness a little bit up, and let's just select the first, and we'll give it this much, and let's see how it sounds. That's a little too much. Um, then 16th? Not enough. Oh. And then for this, we'll put. Ugh. I hate when that happens. I just lose track for a second. And we click again so this one goes down. And I'm gonna turn up the BPM. 116. And now we'll listen. Alright. So now that we have guitars that are actually guitar chords that are actually strumming, <laughs> it already sounds a bit better. Now, let's start with. Is there anything? I'm just making sure. Nothing. Yeah. Alright, so here are the controls. And with the controls, let me open up the Google Translated thing. Um, everything from here down is just explaining these settings. And this was Google Translate. This is the basically README file that comes with it. And Shikibu actually wrote it in really good and formal Japanese. So there's nothing awkward in the Google Translate. <laughs> so 
no one needs to translate it because Google Translate does a great job. But all of this, and there's a lot of it, is controlled entirely from here. So you never have to open up these switches except for one thing. If you want to use different like vibrato release sliders for um, different parts of your song, you have to use these events. So let me find... Okay. So C20 is depths. This should be that. And now we'll just change it. And let's see if it changes with Esperando. Yep. So to change it. How do I? Oh. That's how. Yeah, this actually takes up a lot, a lot of processing power, and I shouldn't be using it with my screen recorder on, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> you know? So anyway, um, to change these within the song, go to the Google Translate thing, or read it in Japanese if you have that ability, and the CC20 there is no CC, just find this number in the um, list and edit it accordingly. And But if you're not doing custom stuff, all you have to do is edit this. And it's the same thing for these. If you're using the same exact effects, these stay the same. Um, throughout the whole song. And this kind of stuff, like magnet. This, okay, so my understanding is that the reason that an electric guitar makes sound is because of a magnet that picks up the vibrations or something. So I think the read me said, this will make it sound more realistic, like it's actually come from a re coming from a real electric guitar. Um, and these are really cool because these are actually um, kind of based on the actual design of actual electric guitars. <laughs> And as someone who's never even touched an electric guitar, I ha I can't make these, you know, like, good. <laughs> anyway, those are the controls. The next is the actual bank, banks, and the way that you do that, if you're using the same exact bank for every single thing, is to just choose it from here. But what if, for example, you want to change what's going on right in the middle? The actual answer is pretty crazy. <laughs> so let's open up the Google Translate thing again and go when you change when you press any of these buttons, it'll change the bank. So but be warned that changing the bank will change. Um what you're allowed to use. And some of the banks aren't actually, you know, like <laughs> supposed to be used, like they're picking noises and stuff. So let's pull this up. We want to do sys 
sustain up and sustain down. So that's F sharp zero and F zero. So we need to turn off key snap and then find that's not the right one. Find F F zero. And you can see it's the correct one because when I click it, it changes to um, sustain down. So we'll just put this here and that will trigger it. It doesn't have to be that long. That's I just put it at one to make the chords easier. And now we want sustain up. And we can just keep doing this. And let's see. And if you know what guitars are, because <laughs> I don't, you'll actually know when to use each part. I can't actually give you a tutorial on how to make it sound good, <laughs> because I don't know when to use each specific thing. Um, like if we move this. Uh, I'm sorry, that just is so silly to me. Um, yeah. If you know what you're doing, then you can make really awesome stuff. Please do not judge its abilities by what I'm showing. Alright, and now all of that switches banks. And he ran out of space here. So there's more banks up here. And it's the same exact thing. If you want to change it to one of these banks in the middle of the song, then so you want trill two notes. That is F sharp seven. So let's find F sharp seven. There's F sharp seven. And then change it to wrong one. And then change it to trail semitone. That's D sharp seven. And just change it between those two. Sorry if that hurt anyone's ears. Oh my goodness. Anyway. Yeah. And that's the basic rundown of how to use this. Go. And hopefully, um, I'm not saying how to use it well because I don't know, but that's just how I had no idea how to do, how to switch banks within the song. I had no idea how to change the controls within the song. And hopefully this has taught someone who knows better than I do, who knows what the heck is going on better than I do, to figure this out and make and use this to the best of its ability. So, I'll see you around. Bye!